Oh, we got a battle here. The big battle. Hey guys, this is Lee here. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about adjustable goosenecks for the sunfish sailboat. I'm sailing with light air today. It's about four or five miles an hour. And we're gonna, to, today we're gonna talk about gooseneck adjustments. All the adjustable gooseneck is a very, very important adjustment to make your boat go efficiently and go faster if you have the proper setting but if you have the wrong setting then you are going to going slower and pointing less and that's not as fun ah! Ah! <laughs> so what's a gooseneck a gooseneck is a part of the sailboat that attaches the boom to the mast it's usually on a hinge and the sail is usually attached to the boom and so that lets the boom go in and out in relation to the mast. On a sunfish, the gooseneck is that brass ring, looks like this, and it has two parts. The brass ring goes around the mast, like this, and this holds the boom. Now this one in particular has a screw. So this is not truly adjustable on the water very easily unless you have a screwdriver, and then you can slide the boom in and out. They made a gooseneck adjuster that replaces this bolt or this screw with this and this is we call this a cam or a quick release lever i'll show you also the other gooseneck adjuster that i have and that is a welded bolt and it does the same thing except it doesn't go up and down it turns and it loosens so that is what a gooseneck is now why would anyone want to be able to adjust the gooseneck that makes the boom able to be moved back and forth in relation to the mast so when you're sailing in lighter wind, you want to have it in one position or close to that one position. But if you're sailing in heavier wind, just like in Paracas, Peru, where it always seems to be blowing 22 to 28, you probably want to want to push the gooseneck further back. And that'll help balance the boat. And that's why an adjustable gooseneck is a game changer in sunfish sailing. So in this situation, we're sailing in about five miles an hour with the winds. I put the gooseneck out about 14. I am about six foot tall at about 200 pounds. If you're a different height or a different weight, then you could use a range from 14, 15, 16, depending on how big you are. If the boat feels overpowered or you're struggling to, to keep the boat balanced, the first thing you wanna to try to do is, is hike the boat flat. And if you hike the boat flat and you're hiking it hard and you're trimming in properly and you still feel overpowered, then try dropping the gooseneck further back from the front of the end of the spar, about a half inch to an inch, and then sail again and see if that works. And then experiment with that until you find balance in your boat. Just starting to white cap on the bay. That indicates to me that the wind is blowing about 10, maybe 11 miles an hour. So it is picking up from this morning from four to six. Because I'm a, a larger sailor, six foot, about 200 pounds, I'm gonna keep it at 14. But if you're about 150, maybe 130, you wanna sail in this stuff, I would probably not sail 14. Maybe start at 15 and see how you feel. Depends on your fitness level, how tall you are, and make adjustments as needed for a balanced boat. It's all about balance. If I'm sailing at 20 and the wind's blowing about four to six miles an hour, I will definitely not be able to point as high, so I'll be losing ground. When you're sailing for fun, or you're just tooling around and you don't care how fast you go, then it really doesn't matter. So you just go out and sail and have fun. So in lighter winds, you probably want to have a less distance between the front of the boom, which is measured from the end cap to where the metal starts, no less than 13 to 14 inches. If you go about less than that, then the boat kind of gets squirrely. It just doesn't feel right. The minimum that I've seen people, top world sailors, sail would be 13 and if it's in medium to strong breeze then they are hiking hard and they're really strong when the wind gets higher then you want more distance between the front of the spar and the gooseneck so i would say for most people who are maybe 150 160 and average shape you might want to start at 15 inches and then go to 15 16 17 inches one half inch or one inch might make a difference two inches definitely makes a big difference on the way the boat handles so try it in small increments sail up wind for a little bit and see how it works for you if you like this information please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it
There are two main types of gooseneck adjusters. One is a cam type of gooseneck adjuster, which is like a quick release for a bicycle seat post. And there's also the custom made welded nut screw type of adjuster. Both of them work well, but the most common one right now is a cam quick release adjuster. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description where you can get adjustable goosenecks. The advantages of the quick release adjuster, it's, they're all over the place. The other thing is if you don't have a quick release adjuster, you could bring in a couple of wrenches or if it's a, held in with a screw, you could bring a screwdriver with a wrench and do it by hand. But I would suggest you do it before you get on the water or just make sure you don't lose your bolt or your screw. Now to adjust the gooseneck, I would hold it right here with your hand and then hold the gooseneck and just pull it through. What's the appropriate measurement for your gooseneck? For most people, start up between 15 and 16. If you are on the smaller side, maybe you're a junior, you're about 130 to 140 pounds, maybe start out with 15, 16 on light air days and work your way up. Don't be afraid to uh, experiment. If you have to go to 20, 21, 22, that's fine. Now another thing, there is a grommet kind of in a way at about 18 or 19 inches. Most racers don't actually use that grommet with a sail tie or a shower curtain ring sail clip. They just remove it. I believe the sail has a nicer shape without the sail tie or sail clip. This is at 19 inches adjustable gooseneck. This is at 14 with the adjustable gooseneck. You can see how the tack is more inboard than it was at 19. Boom is angled higher in the back than the front. The whole sail plant is actually higher in the air. If you look at the distance between the second and third grommet from deck, it's that. This is at 21 inches. The tack is actually overhanging the deck. The boom is more parallel to the horizon. There's a difference, there's a shorter distance between the boom and the deck when it's further back. This depowers the sail. This setting at 21 inches would be great for most juniors small people and people who just aren't as physically capable as handling the boat versus someone who's 200 pounds high school age. When the weather starts getting really heavy, mid 20s and up, most of the time people are not sailing in that. But if you plan the race or you're doing something big where you need to sail really heavy air, you can go back to 22, 23, 24 inches. It's really up to what you need to do. You can also put in a gents rig, you can put in a reef in your sail. So you can make adjustments and that's the range. Try to figure out what works for you. I'm sailing the boat with the gooseneck at about eight inches. It's hard for me to tell exactly how, how it feels, but it has good power. But the biggest thing that I realized when you're sailing it further back is this. This is actually right in front of me. And look at the angle from the main sheet block to the boom. It's actually kind of in the middle of the cockpit. So tacking, this main sheet is actually going to get in your way on tacks. I wouldn't recommend this. This, this, that's, uh, that's annoying. You'd have to go all the way back underneath this boom and tack. And for the most part, I like to sit in the front part of the cockpit, especially when it's light. Okay, let's hit that wind. And you can see how the tack is really inboard. What this does to the sail, it really puts the center of effort of the sail off the center line of the boat. Whoa, 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 jeez off the center line of the boat, it can get a little bit squirrely. So to combat that, most racers will heel the boat to windward. So the center line of the sail or center comes more above the center line of the boat, which makes it more efficient. When the center of the sail is really off the boat, you, it's really hard to heel the boat to windward to get the two center of efforts over each other. You almost have to like capsize the boat. So we're back here at about 14 and a half, 15 inches, and I'm gonna sail the boat flat here. I'm gonna 
sit in the middle of the boat. The center of the, the sail is about there. So it's if you draw a straight line down, it's coming off the boat. You want to have more efficiency and you want more speed. I get my butt off the rail and get the sail, wayward rail in the water. That puts the sail above the boat a little bit more. And the center effort, if you draw a straight line down, is more close to the center line of the boat, which is where this Grant Beach stickers at. Now I'm feeling windward rails in the water and I'm a foot closer to the center, which makes a huge difference sailing downwind. The boat's very stable because of the hard shine and also you can lift the dive board up a little bit. So hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. If you haven't already, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel out a lot and ring that notification bell so you know when we come out with a new video. Thanks and I'll see you on the water.